Hi, this is a, a, a one of the old hot plates that still works, and this contains about two free grams of old soap dissolved in about 500 millimeters of water overnight, and it can't contain a cloudy material. And I also put in 10 grams of instant coffee to try to make it into a, an insecticide or repellent. If you can see closely, that's what what was happening. It's 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 boiling. It's releasing the coffee material into the soap, which is more, which is uh, fat like salt. So maybe it's more effective. And then I have this adapter, and then a gas type adapter device. Uh, it goes into this tube with water, so it, it traps. And it reduces the pressure so you, you don't have massive pressure buildup. It also prevents contamination. But what I have right here is it, it, it's um, um, bounce lint, which um, it, it it's static, so maybe it can absorb dust in that. And any dust that gets in here from the outside environment like that will basically be trapped in here and won't be put in your flask. So it's a good idea to do this if you're in a, an okay environment or an environment that might be contaminated with dust. And I have a lot of more glassware, a lot more equipment. But as we can see, if we read it, 38.5 degrees. This hot plate at 73 degrees within, a, within 45, 45 minutes will reach about 43 to 45 minutes, 45 degrees Celsius. It will stay there for hours. Despite the fact that it got exposed to sulfuric acid, it got an EO2 error, it's working quite well now. I don't know what, maybe it re, it reestablished some of the connections in the in the machine, but it's working perfectly. And it's interesting part that there are, that's the wrong one, I'm looking for the, my um, UV lamp. Now, there it is. Look at this, if you're exposed to the UV light, look what happens. Slightly fluorescent. I don't know what caused that, but coffee and tea and, and certain chocolate contains um, harmine compounds, very small amount, and that's quite interesting. And what harmine compounds do is they prevent the breakdown of certain neurotransmitters, serotonin, renaphine, other stuff, and they can enhance the cognitive properties of caffeine alone. Except they're very, they're found in very, very small amounts. So I'm just making this into a, into a, a bio pesticide like material, or trying to, and and it's been going on for days and days. I'm heating up. Let it run for maybe a few a few hours at a time, three four hours here, three four hours there for about a week, and this is what I got so far. And it's quite an interesting video, a short video, but I think it's a very productive thing. And if you open this up and smell it, there's a bit of ethyl acetate in there that was in with the soap, and it's evaporating off and being trapped in here. Right here, just trapped ethyl acetate, and in it, that's what's happening. So this is a quite interesting little project.